Hey everybody, how's it going? Happy Thursday vlogging with Proof Weight Loss Surgery Works. It is Thursday, May 10th, 2012, and I am your Thursday vlogger, Stephanie, or my YouTube channel name is Bandit Stephanie. We are now, um, for me, seven days away until I arrive in Las Vegas for the 2012 meet and greet, so very, very excited. I'm coming to you guys with this week's question, and I will get right to it. So, the question is, how much water do you drink per day? How do you make sure to get in your water each day? What would you say to somebody who says it's too hard to get in 64 ounces of water in daily? Great question. Um, this is definitely one of my three uh, key items to success is water. Um, I, at the very beginning, um, was told same thing, 64 ounces minimum a day of water. And before weight loss surgery, I was never one to drink water. Um, my beverage of choice was pop or soda. I would drink that stuff like it was going out of style. So I had to try to find convenient ways to um, replace that with water. And um, I will say at the very beginning when I first got banded, I was banded on March 15th, 2011. It was very difficult for me to get in my water because I just don't really care for the taste and I just wasn't thirsty for it. So I would go day after day saying, oh my gosh, I did not meet my water goal today. What can I do differently? How can I get this water in? And I just got myself to a point where I said, whether you're thirsty or not, drink the water. So I would just start drinking the water, not even thinking twice about it, just forcing it down basically. And um, what I do is I, a couple different things to get my water in. So I usually, every day, I will bring a water bottle. I buy the ones from Costco that are 20 ounces. So I'll bring one of those with me in the morning to work. And um, what I'll usually do is once I finish that, I'll fill that up a couple times throughout the day. Um, but I also have a Brita water bottle. Um, so that's kind of cool. And I'll use that at work too. And fill that up um, very eco-friendly and um, I like that but um, I'm 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 more or less a plain water drinker I will add some um, some flavors in when I am finding it hard to get it down and actually let me grab a couple of the ones that I use I want to show you guys So at the very beginning of all this, I had purchased some Crystal Light, and um, to be honest, I'm not a huge Crystal Light fan. So a couple of the things that I have found that I like to um, kind of enhance the water when I feel it necessary are these Mile Liquid um, Water Enhancers. Um, these are actually pretty good. You can find them pretty much anywhere, I think, and um, these are these are pretty good. Um, I've tried a few of the different ones. This one is a mango peach, and that one's pretty good. Um, but my water enhancer of choice of choice is it's called Hansen's Natural. This is the strawberry lemonade fruit sticks, and these are made with Truvia. Um, I don't know how many of you guys eat or have eaten at Red Robin, but they have a drink, a strawberry lemonade drink. And I found that these almost taste similar to those strawberry lemonade drinks, and I love those. Um, at times, I will even put this in a glass of water with a couple frozen strawberries, and it's like a treat for me. So, um, yeah, I love these things. I don't necessarily have one every day, but like I said, when I'm finding it hard to drink just plain normal water, I will do what I can to enhance it with something to make it go down. Um, but I would say nowadays, even being in maintenance, I'm getting anywhere from 70 to 100 ounces of water a day. My goal is somewhere around 100. And um, it's funny, I laugh because I have such a small bladder, so I'm in the bathroom constantly. But um, for me, it's, every time I go to the bathroom and pee out that water, it's, I know that I'm doing my body good. So um, it's a good thing, I think. Um, what I would tell you guys, if it's hard for you to get in your 64 ounces a day, if it's just a mental thing and you're having trouble with it because you just don't really want to, force yourself to do it. 
Um, like you force yourself to eat small portions, force yourself to go to the gym. This is no different. Just force yourself to, and eventually I think you will work up that thirst uh, for water. And I've done that. Um, I will find myself, if I'm not getting in enough water, I will get thirsty. Um, if it's hard for you to get in your water because you have a tight band, that's a whole other story. And that's something that you really have to evaluate um, if your band is too tight where you're having problems even getting in your water, um, that's not good. But if it's just a mental thing, which I assume for a lot of us it is, force yourself to do it. Just chug it. Just drink it. Drink it on your way to the gym. You're not even thinking about going to the gym. You're not even thinking about drinking the water. You're just drinking it. You're going to the gym and you're doing it. Not even thinking twice. So, um, water, huge key to success. I'm a firm believer. It's one of my top three keys to success. So, Get your water in. Chug it. Drink it. Any way you have to. Plain water. Water enhancers. Do what you got to do, but get it in. Um, so I will talk to you guys next week with next week's question. And um, I guess I'll be doing one more video before I see you guys in Vegas. So have a good night. Have a good weekend, guys. And um, again, I was Stephanie, your Thursday Proof Weight Loss Surgery Works vlogger. And uh, drink your water. Talk to you guys next week. Bye.